we're having a slight drizzle. We've left uh, Bank Street Lodge, had a good night in uh, Fort William, and I can assure you we had a few scotches that evening, and we'll look back and remember it, I'm sure. And I won't say that certain people didn't even walk straight afterwards, gives you an idea that they might have had one or two. I thought it was lock lucky, but it's lock lucky. I love the way the water is a waterfall. I think just up here there is a waterfall opposite where we parked. I bet that's running again. Well, we're on our way now to Eileen Dolan Castle. That's about another 50 odd miles of this sort of riding. It's going to break my heart, I think. We had to stop as the bridge lifted up to let a boat go through. You can, you can see it in front of us to carry on up the lock different so these locks are manned to let the boats through must be a canal that's busy and it's quite big I do enjoy it when we're up high and you can see low you can see for miles, can't you, up here? We've hit a bit of heavy rain, a bit harder than before. We're in and out a bit at the moment. We're hoping to lose it as we start to go north. Just look at this countryside round here. Look on the right up there, Chris, how high that peak is. Can you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's right up there, isn't it? The water's just pouring down these mountains because of the showers that come over. We've got one at the moment. You can see what fuels them. But they also look so beautiful. When we came round with the dry last time, we didn't see all this. It's actually quite spectacular in the rain. Just look at it running down there. That's a lot of water coming out of there. Must come down there and then under here. Must do, must it? And out to the set. There it goes. How spectacular is all that? Absolutely spectacular. I don't know how much is coming out on the camera with the spots of rain that's fallen. Some white water just pouring down there. Oh, it's truth, that's coming down there. Proper mountains. Unbelievable rugged scenery through here, isn't it? Quite right what Chris said. We're insignificant compared to the scenery around here, the size of the mountains. What a place. And what a place to have held a battle years ago though, isn't it? I mean, would you really want to have a fight here? Glen Shield. Yeah, there's plenty of water in this glen. What a views, aren't they? I don't know if any of this is coming out on the camera or not, but it's absolutely breathtaking. Breathtaking. Just left it running, it's just fantastic. Look at the size of that on the right where we're going through this lot. I mean, that is not a little lump, is it? And all the water running down these hills.
it's real Scotland, you've got sort of the sun out and it's raining, that, that just about sums it up, doesn't it? It's brighter, lighter with the odd spot. So picturesque around here. What a lovely little place to live. See a little garage? 24 hours. I'm so enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And the rain doesn't dampen your spirits, does it? It's just something so impressive, isn't it? <laughs> Robert says his testicles are wet. Just something special around here, isn't it? Just look at all the water pouring out. We're seeing a totally different Scotland this time, you know. We are, honestly, we are. The real Scotland, yeah. Well, I'm going up here Billy No Mates. Everybody is at the bottom. I'm hoping to get to the top safely and take a picture of them coming up Applecross. I'm hoping that they're going to give me enough time to get up and get set up. But what an experience this place is. I'll keep wiping the lens, but my goodness me, the light on it, just the odd spot here now. Fantastic blue sky starting to develop I thought this would be encased in cloud and it's not I'm very pleased that it's not but what a place I'll keep wiping it hopefully if nobody's seen this before it's it's just something you've got to do I hope no one comes around the corner a bit fast. <laughs> Just look at this place. Just look at it. Well, they've done some improvements on the corner here. I remember this one was a bit tight. This is a bit good. That is an improvement. I'm out of range at the moment, so they've turned them off. Look at the sun over there, fantastic. Experiences are just fantastic. this when they come round. They will absolutely love them. just like ants on this planet that's all we are this place is big water's 
running everywhere today. I'm being tailed by a couple of bikers. Mostly bikes, if they've got any sense, go around here. Look at it, an immense drop, the water cascading all over the place. Some of this potholes are a bit gruesome. I think I'll stay in the middle. It's the barrier walls that way. I think this is our group now. Coming up down the bottom. We're a long way down there at the moment. But if they get nearer, I'll try and zoom in. There they are. Hopefully they'll get round the rest nicely. Sightseeing over there. Turn in John Barney.
your thoughts on this? Apart from a pleasure to ride round, isn't it? See that road going round the, around there? Just stop for a drink. And we just noticed that you have pebbly beaches. And it'd be no good having little pebbles. It'd be not to the correct scale of the mountains. So it makes sense why they got big pebbles. But this is a good little spot to stop. The Apple Cross in. It's just so beautiful around here, isn't it? Look at it. And, and you do get several seasons in a day, and it is true, that's what you get from Scotland. We've had rain, we've had drizzle, we've had rain, we've had sun. Just a pleasure to come round here, isn't it? The Isle of Skye. Not a bad backdrop. And not a bad road to ride round. Look at it going down the beach. Now it's obviously coming out of this side. It's got to be, got to be coming out from up there somehow. Oh, there it is. See them coming over the top too, up there, look. Loads of them, yeah. The aftermath of the rain that's gone. Look at that beach. A dog playing out on the sea down there. Can you see it? Just jumping about having fun. Wow. That's wow. Wouldn't it be lovely just living down there and having all that lovely view across there? Those islands just laying there, aren't they? I don't know if there's a few specks in the air. It's odd that the sun's out and just the odd flick of moisture. The colour of it, the sea up here, it's gorgeous, isn't it? You could be going along by the Mediterranean, couldn't you, with that colour? We're definitely on the, the correct route because We've seen loads of them, and they're not stinting, they're doing the whole NC 500 the same, aren't they? And they're enjoying it because you can tell they put their hand up, wave. Yeah, yeah. And I think people are enjoying this as a fantastic experience, which it is, isn't it? Sheep, sheep, lamb. Now look at that down in there, the little inlet, can you see it like a little cove, how gorgeous that looks. It is a moonscape, exactly, it impressed me last time with its barrenness, it's obviously been eroded off with all the rain and water. Oh, the wind must come across here, there's no trees. Look at the rock coming out, you can see why it's, how it all comes into the geo route later on, can't you? Now my favourite bit actually is just a little bit further up, the view down into this bit. And there's like a, if the sun's out, there was like a white house that stands out almost in 3D. Yeah, this is just to die for view, isn't it? Just look at it. 
and the sun's on the top which makes it ten times better than covered in rain, doesn't it? We've seen so much today, the elements changing, haven't we? Yeah, the rain has made it spectacular. Yeah, it does. Just look at the backdrop, though. We've been lucky, the, the payoff for the rain this morning is the lovely sun this afternoon, isn't this the payoff? I bet that's fresh water, you know. My favourite view in Scotland. I don't intend to rush this bit. I'll catch you up. Just look at it. to say that one of our bikes has gone over, it got a bit near the mud and the Robert went down. He's fortunately not injured and it doesn't appear there's too much damage to the bike and he's still able to continue. But our heart went in our mouth. Fortunately it appears that he's not hurt, which is all good. Scotland is so big. So big. The mountains are big. Look at how the weather's torn that apart, hasn't it? Look at the dark hills behind with the light not on it. Marais, isn't it? Like the whiskey. Not, not Marie, okay. Perhaps I've got whiskey on the mind. Just lovely. And look how still that is there. It's so still. Your pleasure to stop here and have a look around. Yeah, look. Very attractive area. Petrol station very close now, mate. So still, like a mirror, just like a mirror. Unbelievable. No wind there at all. None. That is a mirror. How changeable the weather is up here. The views just keep giving, don't they? They just keep giving. If you add the whole day up, what we've experienced, 
from end to end. It's a lot, isn't it, to take in in one day. A lot. Even this is beautiful, isn't it? We have had the most amazing day and the most amazing scenery. I hope you're enjoying our travels through Scotland. I hope this inspires others to go and do the NC500 like us, you'll never regret it.